Should we talk about the big thing? The big thing that's happening for you Uh in May. You're going across Scotland with your one-woman show, and it's called... It's called Leah McRae, My Big Fat Fabulous Diary. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know you, I can see it in your face. I'm so excited. I'm a bit frightened, in a good way. Frightened? You know? Why, though? Because you kind of, like, it's like kind of going to a new school and want never to be your pal. <laughs> <laughs> you know that way? You're like, yeah. hi, Scotland, can you all come, please, 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 please come? So is your fear, not that the show might not be good you're happy with the show yeah. you're comfortable with the show because you've run it a couple of times and it's got rave uh, reviews it's been, really, it's been so well received and, yeah. but it's funny and I even talk about this in the show about actors and how nervous we get and how every single time you're about to step out on a stage your head goes what are you doing why are you doing this <laughs> why are you doing this to yourself you know it's like the fear and you, you may be experiencing it as well doing live stuff yeah. I don't know but yeah. it, you do get the fear and sometimes when you're really nervous about something so I, I do get nervous before I go on but I'm more nervous every time because I've written it myself and it's been edited by the amazing Chris Grady who I've worked with loads in comedy and he writes drama as well now and he's just incredible so I'm, I'm really comfortable with what we've got and it's so well received but every time I go out I always go what if they don't like it what if they think I'm rubbish what if they'll sit like that <laughs> could you imagine you went out into a comedy and they're like no reaction nothing boom <laughs> So that's my fear is kind of always that when initially, but we know it's a great show and we know it's been so well received. Yeah, it has. It's sold out actually, which is so nice. It's sold out every venue. It's played smaller venues like um, Eastwood Park Theatre and uh, Rutherglen Town Hall, mm-hmm. uh, the Village Theatre East Kilbride, and then the beautiful Air Gaty. Yeah, did it in there and it was amazing. They are so warm, such a lovely house. So you, you had a good run at it with those yeah. four shows. You're confident to take it across the country now. You're going to tour across the country. Mm-hmm. You're going to be in Aberdeen. Yes! You're going to be in Dundee. Yes! You're going to be in Glasgow. Yes! <laughs> theatre Royal, how posh is that? You're in the Theatre Royal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to step out. <laughs> Subtitle. <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone that wants to see your show, what is it actually? It's a big one-woman comedy. Not just because I'm a big woman, but it's a big show. Voluptuous. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's a curvy. It's um, it's a one woman comedy, and it kind there's loads and loads of comedy songs, really funny songs. There's funny stories that we it's go based back on your life. Diary. Well, what the what the nice thing about it, I think, is that some of it there's bits in it that are true, completely true, and then there are bits in it that are uh, heightened stories of maybe mm-hmm. things that maybe kind of nearly happened, and and that what I love is that people go. Was it this bit that was true? Was it that? No, it was that. It must have been that. And so they don't quite know what uh-huh. the real. And I quite like that. Yeah. That they don't. You're playing with know. the audience. Yeah, it's great fun. So it gives a wee an example of one of your um, true stories that's happened to you in your life. That's in your diary. That's going to be on tour with you. Oh, I, don't I know, know it's putting you on the spot. Tell if it's it, if it's true, I could tell you a story from the show. There's like, for example, there's a story in the show where um, I go into a chip shop and. Um, because it's something to eat chips. And um, there's um, this guy who was really drunk and he and he called me Princess Fiona. And we're like, and we all know who that is. Shrek's bub. <laughs> and it's all this story about this guy and son, you don't need any more chips, Princess Fiona, you know that? <laughs> and then my wee sister, and I'm like, I mean, I was just dignified and calm, but my wee sister was like a rabid dog trying to claw his face off. <laughs> And then it kind of culminates in this boy, you know, me being dignified, and then this my wee sister kind of lowering his face into the deep fat fryer, <laughs> just smiling. And I'm like, and their chips never taste the same again for weeks. <laughs> you know, it's like stuff like that. So we start off with stories, and then I come out and kind of elaborate further. Or sometimes I'll tell a story, and then um, I'll sing a song about it. There's some great songs, uh, and it's some really funny songs and there's also um a couple of big ballads a wee surprise ballad at the end that always goes down a treat so you 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 finish with a big song then yeah a big yeah. sing song there's a song that we might be able to put in it we might uh, it's a very well-known current well-known song but th- these songs are quite hard to get you know the rights for and yeah. things yeah so we might be able to put this song and it's perfect and if we do get it then we'll, we'll definitely put it in at the, at the end of the show and everybody will know it and everybody will love it go, go. wake up with the greatest hits you and Cameron in the morning